Did Deli just change my favorite sharpener? seen any pencil reviews on this channel, you will know probably that this is my favorite go-to everyday use pencil sharpener. And in fact, the first or one of the very first videos I put on my channel was a silent review of this sharpener, the Deli 0616B pencil sharpener. That I have dubbed the claw because it has these metal teeth that grip the pencil, a faceplate that extends, and when you crank, it, start, it releases and begins to pull the pencil in. Uh, clever design. You see it on a lot of pencil sharpeners uh, that you can find by other names, but this Deli is uh, the one that I like the most. And as I said, I got it from AliExpress some years ago and has been a faithful and true companion on my writing desk since then. Well, as my channel approaches, uh, something I find hard to believe, approaches 1,000 subscribers, um, which God willing, who knows, but I'm at the time of this recording, somewhere around 90% there, uh, I started thinking about a the traditional 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Sorry, I have the window open as usual this time of year. Um, and I thought, oh, what better thing to send to some subscriber than a new sharpener of my favorite model of sharpener. So I went back to AliExpress, found the, uh, I think the exact same seller that I bought this from way back when, and uh, found that they still have this sharpener, the 0616B rotary sharpener from Delhi. Um, this one is, the box is a little bigger than I remember the last one came in because the last one, some assembly was required. This one, and I'm sorry, the box looked like this when it got to me. So if you, uh, if this indeed ends up in a giveaway box and you receive it, I'm sorry. Uh, but you see this appears to be the same sharpener Uh, but this one, some assembly was required. You had to attach the cutting mechanism. This one apparently comes together, but I'm not planning to remove it from the box, even to test it. Uh, it'll be going likely to some happy and very fortunate subscriber at some point. But on the site, they advertise not just this version that I purchased some years ago, but also a version that comes in black. And on the site, when I ordered them, the black one looked like this. Looked like the design that's on this box for the gray one. See, this is the one containing the gray or off-white, whatever you want to call that. But the picture on the front shows a black model. So I ordered one of the gray, one of the black, uh, just to compare, I suppose. And what an interesting comparison, because the box that the black came in is a different box. It still says Rotary Pencil Sharpener 0616B, same as this one. But there are some clear differences on the picture. I have not removed this from the box yet, but I did open it just to see if that picture represents what the sharpener looks like. And hey, howdy, hey, it is indeed a different sharpener, an upgrade, possibly. It's a little bit dirty. So this is the first time I'm removing it from its box. Accidental face reveal. There's going to be a lot of that, I'm afraid. First of all, see if there's anything else in this box. Okay, there's the little clamp where you can affix it to a writing surface, but I don't 
don't usually use that. The beauty of these sharpeners is you can do it uh, because it holds the pencil for you. You don't need a free hand to hold the pencil. So let's just compare the back. Okay, so the construction is different here. There are visible screws holding it together in the gray, not in the black. Similar all around, but not clearly not the same. And the obvious big difference, where's the grippers for the claw? And it's too dark for me to see down in there. See what the mechanism looks like. But I wonder if it's not a similar mechanism to this obscene long point from Tenwin. It also does not have the uh, levers for uh, any metal teeth. And actually is a clever mechanism to pull the pencil in. And I prefer that mechanism to the one that damages your pencils. But overall, I like this sharpener better because the point it makes is much more useful than the obscene long point makes. So let's find out what kind of pencil sharpener we have here. There is no faceplate to pull forward like you have in this one. So I guess without any instructions, well, I guess there are some instructions here. This product can only be used to sharpen graphite pencil. Do not use it to sharpen soft leads, e.g. colored pencil, crayon, or oil pastel. If sharpening failure appears in the process of use, Check whether the pencil lead is broken in blade bracket. If yes, clean broken pencil leads as following steps. Rotate the rear gear, kennel, okay, etc. That's just for cleaning out. Okay, so the instructions for use are at the top there. Put the pencil inside of the hole and rotate the arm in clockwise direction. When it finished, get out the pencil or rotate the arm in anti-clockwise direction to withdraw the pencil. So that sounds like the same mechanism in the obscene long point, 10 win. Curious. Well, let's just try it out, but it's it's weird that it has the exact same product number. So maybe the um, gray one will also be changing, although maybe this is old stock because I ordered this at the same time. Not sure, but same product number for both, clearly different sharpeners. This is getting really long already, so let's get to it. Start it with your traditional American, American, not made in America anymore, but the Dixon Ticonderoga. Let's just see what happens when we do this. Well, okay, I'll rotate the other way to withdraw. Let's do a comparison <clears throat> between these two, and we'll use the same pencil for both. We'll use these. It's back to school season. Let's use these back to school Staedtler Norica blue pencils. Very nice pencils. Come with a factory sharpen, which actually isn't that bad, but we will see what happens when I put them in each of these sharpeners. So first, my favorite, Old Faithful, the claw. See how that mechanism works? It's grabbing the pencil with its vicious metal teeth. There's the point we get with that as compared to the factory sharpen. So I'll leave one factory sharpen so we can uh, use it as a baseline. I'll take another fresh pencil out. Try the new and improved question mark. New and improved deli sharpener. Complete. 
completion. Don't want to mix them up here. Okay, so the top is the new and improved deli sharpener. The bottom is the old faithful deli sharpener. That unevenness in the graphite on the one on top is a symptom of a core that is not well centered and doesn't have anything to do with the sharpener. I'd say those points are very, very comparable. I'm trying to determine if the top one is slightly concave as the bottom one is. It's almost difficult to tell by eyeballing it, but I think they're the same. If I get the same point, Okay, let's look at the uh, shaft here. The one on the bottom is Old Faithful, the claw. You can see the teeth marks. Possibly you can see the teeth marks that you don't have on the new and improved deli. So if I can get the same point, it looks like I do, without the claw marks, well, I'd say that is an improvement. Am I going to stop using Old Faithful the Claw? Probably not. We've been through a lot together. Many happy hours of sharpening. The only question remaining for me is whether that point is in fact the same. So the Ticonderoga was from the new, the new deli, <laughs> and the, uh, the bottom is from the, the old. And it's not going to focus now. I've talked so much about how I like the concave point. The slightly concave point. Does that help? Not really. I think it's the same point. And if it's the same point without the claw marks, that is a win. So I can give a thumbs up to the New Delhi 0616B, but I can't tell you how to order it because when you order it, this is not what it looks like. Uh, so let the buyer beware, I suppose. Uh, however, you can get one. I recommend it. I still, of course, very much recommend this. I can live with some claw marks, some teeth marks in my pencil. Nothing wrong with that. A little bit of scarring. Never hurt anybody. So there you go. The uh, new and improved. Old and busted? Not really. Old and still awesome. New hotness. Either way you go, it's a fine sharpener. AliExpress. Buy it for the change in your pocket. Wait a few months and it arrives at your door. I recommend. Thanks for watching this pencil sharpener review. Way longer than it needed to be. Hope to see you here again next time.